Welcome back, everybody. An Oklahoma coach is on the verge of breaking a state record. Seminole head coach Mike Snyder is one win away from having the most wins as a head coach in our state's history. This Friday, he'll get another chance to break that record. And joining us live in studio is Coach Mike <laughs> Snyder, Seminole High School. Good morning I'm to you, to meet sir. You, thank you very much for having me. It is such an honor well, to have thank you, you here. It's an honor to be here. How many years have you been coaching? We talked about it in the break. Yeah, uh, this is my 48th year total. Uh, my 40th year as head coach. Uh, only place I've been. Uh, started in 1972, uh, right out of college. How does that happen? That just doesn't <laughs> happen anymore, coach. It does not happen often. Uh, you, uh, you have a lot of good people around you. Uh, you have, uh, I think what's important as, as a coach is a work ethic, and fortunately, uh, my family and my parents established that work ethic in me. And I think that when you do that, you get a lot of people that trust you and you're able to stay somewhere in, in a job that you love. And that's, like I said, I, I would not want to be anywhere else in the Seminole, Oklahoma. Did you ever have any years where you thought, that, that's it, I got to do something else? Not to do something else. I, I did it when I was an assistant coach. We won the state championship in 1977, so I thought that was a good time to try to go out and be a head coach. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I missed out on a, a job. It was a Class 2A job. And then I was kind of upset about it, but I said, well, that, yeah, things will work out. And here I am now. Two years later, I become the head coach at uh, Seminole High School, and I'm still there. What gives you the passion? Because some days it's got to be tougher than others and different groups of kids through the years. How do you maintain a high level of passion for your job? Well, I, I think some, first of all, it has to be something you love. And that's something I love. That's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, kids have changed. Uh, I, I think you change a little bit with it. But, but yet kids have not changed in the sense that they still want the discipline. They still want, they still want to be uh, part of something that's successful. So I think when you provide that, then, then that's where your job is, is, so, is so much fun. And, you know, we're all a product of our environment. Uh, so that, uh, that's what's changed. Kids had not changed the product of the, the environment is what's changed. Do you think kids are just as good as we've always been? You know how it is. Every year we get older, we say, oh, the kids nowadays. Yeah. But what, what do you think about the kids nowadays for us that are out of touch with young people? Well, I, I think some things have changed. I, I think that commitment probably is more difficult for kids to make than it ever has been. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, again, that comes from the environment that, they, that they're raised in. Uh, so I, I think that we, we, we hold uh, kids accountable. Uh, I don't think we, as educators, we can't deny that. We, we, can't, we can't let that go. You have to hold the kids accountable. It doesn't matter. Uh, if what type of kid that is, but you, you have to, I think, earn that respect and then they respect you and then things go right for you. Are you confident that maybe this week, this Friday, <laughs> will be the game that you beat the record? Well, I tell you what, we, we are in the toughest part of our schedule. Yeah. Uh, we, we have had uh, a devastating number of injuries that have occurred. Uh, we, we're actually down seven starters. Mm haven't had that happen in those 48 years like wow. that so but it is what it is so you go out and play hard our kids will go play hard uh, but we're like I said we're in a four game stretch right here it's the toughest teams on our schedule so uh, I know our kids are excited about each and every Friday night when they go out and that's what's good about coaching the Seminole too uh, those kids expect to win you don't have to try to overcome some things that other coaches have to overcome